Ah, fuck. <laughs> Selkie is shrinking into into ah, the nether. Yeah, I kind of. <laughs> I wrote something and I. Uh... <laughs> Selkie has recently been traumatized in our home game. Thank you for joining us tonight. Um, yeah. I'm not okay. <laughs> we come live, I tab over, and Selkie's just almost gone. There's the top of your head, and that's about all that's left. Um, uh, it's yep, a good Selkie night. It's a good night me. to be Selkie. Come for the throat. <laughs> it's fine, though. I'll get him back later. I still have works. Things uh -huh. in the works. Uh-huh. Oh, gosh. So anyhow, now that we've traumatized one character, um, let's traumatize more. Let's traumatize yeah. more. Yeah. <laughs> um, everyone, roll a Constitution switch. save. DC thirty-one. Hey yo. I'm kidding. Hey. Yo. <laughs> I, <was> like, <laughs> I might be able know? to beat that. I don't think anyone else can. You know, I'm like literally <laughs> only Cole can probably beat this. Yeah, meteor With my plus strikes two? the area. Yeah, I don't think so. Twenty con. <laughs> Yeah. I don't think so. I, Not with my massive mythic plus two. Yeah, no. I yeah, no plus two. That's I I I, I can Where almost beat it. I can almost beat it. I can get a twenty nine in a con saving throw. That's You're not bad. So close. That's pretty close. I can, exa I can exactly get a thirty. So yeah. We're all nat fucked. twenty. Nat twenty. <laughs> That's We're with a nat twenty. <laughs> That's with a nat twenty. <laughs> Oof. All right. Oh. Well, you all die oh, a horrible oh, death, and everyone roll new characters. This will be our character creation session. Cool. cool. Here comes the fucking paladin. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah, <laughs> we've already confirmed that Callie lives. Or is it Callie or something in Callie's body? Not, uh, not realizing. He's like, all right, cool. Bring Callie. everyone. He's like, all right, everyone, bring new characters out. Right, cool. Here's my gold dragonborn uh, oath of vengeance paladin with twenty strength <laughs> and twenty charisma. Ready, ready to go. Whip it out. Here, uh, here's here comes my Akfe Uye, and I'm kidding. <laughs> here comes my half orc samurai. Y'all would be meeting a bard. And ah, it would be be a I bard. Want to see that this, so and bad. it terrifies me so much. The concept well, of Mike, you playing a bard. What me? That character? Yep. Yes. <laughs> I, uh, I'm like I, uh, I have yeah, safeguards Sir Wellington from ever dying just so this doesn't happen. Just but to it avoid the bar. Fun. It would be so much fun to play River. I need to. Oh my god, I could play cinema. <gasps> if I ever play a bard, I would just have to play a bard who specifically uh operates in bad dad jokes and puns. See, my yeah, my my, bar, my bard it. would be a like would, would like go Abigail into the swashbuckler <laughs> like would start going to like the like bit of like the begin a bad joke hey why did the why did the no the halfling break up with his warforged girlfriend she was why? too high maintenance wow <laughs> oh my god i have yes. to leave i love it no <laughs> <laughs> wait cole give us more <laughs> You want more? We're, we're so close to breaking more. Selkie. We can make her cry on camera tonight. I know it. <laughs> no, I, I have determined I'm shit. not ever going to cry on stream. Better I'm yet, what we do should it. have done, Matt, is we should have held off on those posts until we were live right here and then oh. watched live as Selkie saw that. No, that, <laughs> no, that's so cruel. You wouldn't have seen shit. I would have been downstairs. <laughs> no, we would have heard like a single yell. Like in, like in the garden, we'll hear a single yell just far a off, and then we we'll just see you come back, just so angry, be like, "I'm ready now." I'm fine. Um, I'm just mm. uh, Matt. And with that, you... we've teleported in. Yeah. <laughs> well, what, yes. well, Matt, why do why do chainmails wear what what chain? What do paladins wear chainmail? I know this, but why? Because it's holy armor. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> shut the fuck up. Yes, that's a classic <laughs> one. That's an old school <laughs> one. No, I love it though. Old school is the best. Old school but, is good. Fuck up. Oh, uh, I I got one for you. Why did the bard die after successfully seducing the dragon? Why? Because he Bells. forgot to ask who was going to be on top. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, wait, what was that? How, how does how does I mean? The... <laughs> I I hate the, I hate the, those things because it it implies that people forget that dragons have innate transformation where they can turn into humans yeah 
I thought, uh, I thought I, that's like a... That's metallic dragons. Chromatic okay. dragons can't technically do that in rules is written, but obviously if it's your homebrew world, do whatever you want. That's true. But like, I think ancient red dragons can do it, but like, or in black dragons, but this I know for green dragons, that's like a huge thing for one specific dragon. They're I, like, I want to be a I person. I know they could. I know they could. The chromatic dragons could in critical role because they all did that in Vox Machina. <laughs> that's because that's Matt was like, okay, cool, whatever. Um, bus, and apparently bus. the girls all simped for the blue dragon's human form. Like they were um, in love with him. And then they were like, what? He's the boss we have to kill? Ugh, he's hot though. Like they bemoaned that throughout the entire first campaign. And then they I had... am so confused. What? I don't recall this. I it was uh, it was pre it was previous to the stream. It was pre-stream. The they dragon, pre the blue dragon, they, who he... was in the first two episodes of the animated series. Mm -hmm. He was a boss they fought when they were playing Pathfinder pre-stream. Yeah. And, Less, and lesser... throughout, and if you listen to the the first campaign, throughout the first campaign, the girls are constantly whenever he brings him up, the girls are like. Why'd you have to make him bad? He was so hot. <laughs> oh, wait, you mean the guy with, like, didn't he have, like, an eye? Like, the really big guy, like, the thick guy at the beginning of the cartoon, right? Yeah, yeah he was voiced yeah. by David yeah, Tennant. Yeah, blonde hair, oh! voiced by David Tennant. Yeah. He was voiced by David yeah. Tennant. It's oh, like, yeah, no, it's like awesome. Matt Mercer was like, all right, girls, you thought he was hot. We're going to get David Tennant to play him for the show. <laughs> That's just cool. <laughs> Let's just crank up the hotness even more. Yeah, so here's one. Hey, Callie, how does the so fighter protect against the heat of a firebolt? Turns up his AC. Oh my, <laughs> oh my god. Okay, with that. <laughs> with that, start. I was going to say last one. <laughs> Green dragons are excellent at founding taverns. Yeah, we start. The Shire has. Ah! Born Stellar, you joker. <laughs> You're not so wrong. Anyway, There's so uh, many dr green dragon taverns. Green dragons are the best. You know what? What do you want to bet that every single one of those, the owner is an actual dream green dragon in human form, and they're just slipping by because no one would suspect they would be dumb enough to name their in <laughs> the green dragon when they're a green dragon. But it's the perfect disguise because it's hidden in plain sight. Ian is getting closer to the camera until we start. <laughs> Ian and Ian is slowly breaking. <laughs> We're gonna break half the party before we even start. Tonight. So anyway, uh, I have my axe on Markham's shoulder, or on uh, no, Markham, Marcus's shoulder. Excuse uh, me, Mar Mar Markham. How did you random get... axe just appears? Uh, yeah, just, just well. like Marcus just turns and like, who are you? It's yeah. what is that? It's that one oh. Gravity Falls episode where the fictional characters come to life. Well, anyway, yep. so and I'm just like, so Kieran's got his axe on Marcus's shoulder. Just with, I'm waiting. Right. Uh, five minutes or less. Five, five seconds. Five. Well, ah. Shall we recap? <laughs> Mark, yeah, you want to give, yeah, a, give a recap? It's been we'll two weeks. Time's up. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it has been two weeks. We didn't all right, all right, so last week. Recap, 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 because it's been a couple of weeks. Okay, so. What happened? Oh, minutes. yeah. Marcus died, came back. Alberion died and came back when they literally nuked the uh, the castle, the Obsidian Castle. Um, that thing is a boiling waterfall and lake of lava now. Uh, the evil suit of armor was lost in it. The creature that was there, no one knows what became of it at this moment. Um, the uh, Alberion took Marcus and they kind of teleported back to try and well, to apologize to Sir Wellington and Callie and Abigail, who had managed to retreat out of the castle before it was nuked. Kieran has been informed... No, not Sir Wellington. Sir Wellington teleported to tell Kieran what was going on and ask for his help, and then grabbed Kieran and teleported him, and I think a couple of others, back to... A lot of others. Not a couple of others. That's true, yeah. There's a, there's we like... brought an army. Oh, yeah, there's you a... did. Right, right, there's yeah. There's at least a squad. There's at least a squad to an army. There's like 24 right of you. them. You're right. There's like... Yeah. There's a squad. There is no, a there, whole... I, th 16. I think there. I think there's about 40 of them. Yeah, there was about forty. Yeah, there's oh, forty. Be yeah, because there's five unit. A whole groups. Unit. Each one could well, tell forty eight, people. Eight, so eight, people, eight yeah. times five is forty. Forty. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, so 40 a whole people. fucking unit. Yeah. So, so you Karen guys... appears with a whole unit behind him. I'm like, what? <laughs> and they're all ready to kill Marcus, who is now yep. in rags because his armor and every wonderful magical item he'd collected Listen, is unfortunately gone. I was and just the... told he was in weird armor, and that looks like weird armor. So. <laughs> And the only thing he has is like the amulet of Allie that 
Callie had since the fucking beginning, which is really awesome. Well, he doesn't have that. Callie I'm... has that. No, no, he, I gave it to no. him because he's like, I need, I need a whole, I need uh, a, yeah, I need yeah. a holy thing. Like, I'm like, I got this thing. I am a holy thing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, am, I, like I am the connection to Loki. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, oh, and, and that's right. And we Kieran know. taught Wellington how to pray yeah. to Loki. Pray yep. to Loki. Oh, so he can just talk to him whatever he wants. That is true. All right, so without further ado, I say we pick up with um, Marcus. You have five seconds to explain what the heck happened, why you were trying to kill the other party members, etc. Five. All right, uh, hold on. Just a second. Sorry. Sorry. Let me just. You, you came in really, really hot. Holy Four. damn. All right. Uh, let's see. A lot of confusing topics. Thought that Sir Wellington was this guy named Proteus who was turned out to be a demon. I had a lot of internal conflict. I felt bad about doing this and that. And uh, found this armor. That was fucking weird. That uh, kind of heightened my, my bad shit. I, I will admit that was all on me. Uh, heightened my bad shit. Soon, I couldn't take it off. There was this fucking weird thing with like five arms and... Wait, what, they have five, no, it had four arms and like two legs. It was this weird fucking thing that was from a childhood story about like, oh, this uh, there's a fucking terrible monster that's like, oh, I'm gonna put a guy in an armor. And he's gonna be my champion till he does. So because of that, I had this guy. And he points to the young elf beside him. I had Alberio, <laughs> basically fucking nuke us, and then I'm alive in a um, test tube. Tiny correction for that, uh, not to butt into your time. You did not have me. I had been preparing that since I saw you. Well, yeah, no. Anyway, either way, he nuked us both, and possibly theme. I hope that theme's dead. I don't know if it's dead. I hope it's dead. And now, I am... I, I was in a test tube. I came out. I lost my beard. And, and, and... and Condolences. And... <laughs> you're not a, you're, you're less of a man, and I'm sorry for it. You're being I gone. know. Disappointing. And, all right. Uh, Last as, question. They're, as they're talking, I'm going to sneak around to where Alberian is and just poke him in the shin. <laughs> uh, and Kira's just going to slightly dig the axe into the shoulder a little. Just be like, all right, you explained yourself. And then he's going to pull his axe out and then put the like bottom part on the... And he's going to pull him a little closer and just grab him by the neck and just be like, now uh -huh. you can tell me... How oh, I know you're not going to try to kill Wellington or Callie again. Look, uh, wait, is he like... He's not choking. Grabbing? He's not choking. He's just got That's it there. Wanna... Okay, yeah. Not... It, it's there. It's there. Sorry, he's like, well, look, I know. I Trust me. Harder to Eddie. <laughs> no. Listen, we're, it... we're, giving those, we're giving the people who ship it a little bit of... Because <laughs> I've seen comments. <laughs> Rip. Okay. Well, what would their ship name be? Cure Carcass? Yeah. Carcass? Yeah, yeah, I can see it. Kierkis. Anyway. Kierkis? Carcass. Uh, better than Marin. Carcass. No, we know. No. Anyway, he's just like. He's just, he's just... Yeah. No. Uh, okay, go ahead. Yeah, sorry. You know, no, it's all right. I'm just trying to. Kieran's, Kieran's a top. Let's be honest. Oh, yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. I don't think that was ever important. Anyways. Anyways, anyways. Anyway, this is not important. <laughs> Let's stop. Before we delve into the BL, let's keep right. going. <laughs> he goes, look, I won't. I promise. I. It was mainly me. I already apologized to Callie, and honestly, I gave her a chance to punch me, but she just kind of lightly tapped me on the face. I was a little bit surprised by that. I was expecting a punch. And I got cool I, facial scars now. I look like a badass. You do, Callie. He's gonna move the axe and let go, and he goes, "Well, I'll be keeping my fucking eye on you, just so you know." That is fair he's, enough. He's gonna put his axe on his back and goes, "Oh, and by the way," and then he's gonna deck Marcus since I Callie wouldn't. And then, oh, <laughs> that's uh. So, well, I guess I should roll the hit. I mean, that's I just crit you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, it was I nice. Guess... Marcus, I'm glad you had this body as long as you did. How much uh, HP do you have right now? He's at so four. I'll... Okay, he's at I... four. Okay. So yeah, that's, only, yeah. that's only 16 damage to the face. <laughs> just shake the hand and just be like... He just doesn't have armor. 
You know, he yeah. does not have arms. He is literally in fucking rags right now. Well, he's just gonna deck him and then just go. Oh shit! I forgot how hard I hit. All right, up you go. Oh, shit. Sorry. Sorry. shit, and you're gonna pick Marcus up. Oh. Um, hang on, uh, Matt. Can you roll a D100 for me, real quick? Oh no. Okay. Wait, what? What did I just do? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, seventy-six. Okay. Uh, Karen, where are you punching him? Face. I was just figured, like straight, like in the okay. one of the safest places to punch somebody in the face, like in the jaw, like yeah. right here, because that's the spot that like won't. It's hard to damage part of the face there. Fair enough. All right, uh, Matt, uh, with a seventy-six, <laughs> Marcus is pregnant now. Hey yo! <laughs> I'm kidding. He he got knocked up by Karen. Fucker. <laughs> The, he got knocked up by Karen. Uh, I, if anything, I thought Th Sorsha was going to knock him up. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Matt and I's face no, is just the it's canon. No. <laughs> I can't take so it back. Basically, as, he, as, you, as, as Kieran connects there and the fist just... <laughs> you hear a... As his neck just snaps. Oh, oh shut. Wait, what? I'm, ki I'm kidding. Will? I'm kidding. Not Mark, <laughs> just tell us the fucking thing. No, it's. I just was doing that to fuck with you. Okay. Okay. I gotta keep you guys on your toes somehow. Us? I pick him back up all day, and you haven't even just... bought me dinner. <laughs> I just pat him, and I'm like, hopefully we can get past this. But uh, that was for I'm Cali becoming an aggressive Wellington. Italian. Like I, <laughs> Kayla Fair is enough. rubbing off on you. Was this so, yeah, Kelly? I wish Kayla oh, would rub you. Sorry. That's like, <laughs> wait, what? So wait, what does happen? Wow. We did fucking he, was, he, was, <laughs> he was fucking with us. He was fucking with us. Oh, yeah. oh wow. Oh, Every now and fucking. then it's nice to just have your players roll a random dice and it's actually not for any reason whatsoever <laughs> just because that way they never get too confident in being able to guess what you're going to do next. I thought he was just going to have me like break your jaw. You have to, <laughs> I, ha I feel like I have you know to clarify. Yeah, actually, I actually, I'll say that. It, 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 I know, I know you do. <laughs> I know you do. What a just, I aggressively flirt with Markham's wife. It's okay. all jokes. Look what you did for in the now. chat, Marcus. Markham. Now someone says he believes in the pregnancy. So Marcus is now... So in, in someone's uh, headcanon out there, Marcus is pregnant with Kieran's baby. In I didn't want these headcanon. kinds of pants for Marcus, my innocent church boy. <laughs> with his That's exactly buff, why he has those sort of fans. He's an his, innocent his, church boy. Yeah. He's an innocent church boy with his big buff Celtic angel, man. Uh, yeah. You know? I oh, it. Oh my gosh. No. Of course so, he would. Okay. Everyone would say oh, There's very so, few things they would. But after he picks Marcus up, he's going to just kind of put his arm right over here and just go, no, next time, I'm going to hit you harder. And with an axe. I got it. Pass just... him on the head. And he just goes, Cut! Walks up into Kelly and gives her a bear hug. As that was happening, by the way, uh, Sir Wellington had like, s like <laughs> snuck over to <laughs> Alberian and poked him in the shit, like in the back of the shin. Back. Um, Alberian's gonna look down and just gonna be like, "Are you quite all right?" So it's really you. Well, yes, last I checked, anyhow. Yeah, still me. Why does he sound like he has a retainer in all of a sudden? But, because but I have a massive so ulcer on my tongue with church. But you look so young. <laughs> but you look so young. What happened? I de-aged to the prime of my youth. Okay, if I... If he hadn't said that, I would be really unsure if you were who you said you were. But I'm glad you're okay. As am I, you. Thanks for getting out of there when I said to. He shoots a glare at Callie. <coughs> <laughs> <coughs> uh, it's okay. Uh, we need to have uh, the Beef Wellingtons uh, at some point. So, Absolutely. As all this... I was I mean, Marcus just kind of like I, I I do imagine like it did kind of like break the nose a little bit, so like a little bit. See... Oh no, he's bleeding all over the place right now. You know, kidding me? That like, was a heck of a hit. You know, he's like, hold on, just a second, and he will cast cure wounds on himself as he like pops oh. the nose back into place. I didn't mean to crit that punch. <laughs> and I mean, he's back to full <laughs> health anyway. He I just kind of he just kind of wipes the blood and goes. 
<laughs> you still hit as hard as ever, Kieran. Uh, I know. Ah, we got to get these guys over to the sanctuary. Oh, also, uh, any going to look to, like, the army? <laughs> like, hi, uh, I'm a little cold. Does anyone have at least have, like, some uh, a robe or scale mail? I- I'm Here sorry. it's going to pull out his old... Uh, yeah, kind of, like, look at each other, like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Here it's going to pull out his old fur, like, he's got a new fur since then. He upgraded his bear pelt to a uh, griffin pelt that he wears over his shoulders. He's going to throw the bear pelt at Marcus. Mm. It's oh. very heavy. Thank you. It's a grizzly pelt, so it is heavy. <laughs> to be fair, Marcus does have a 18 strength, so he can. He can stand. I'd be alright. He'll be he, fine. Puts on goes, oh, thank you. And You're welcome. Oh, Benny. Kieran. I would like to request a perception check from Kieran. Okay. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, let me get back to his character sheet. I had to open something else. Ah! Here, right there. I'm good at perception, right? Oh, yeah, I'm good at perception ish. It's not a very high DC, I'll tell you that much. Dirty 20? Yeah, uh, Callie's got a tail now. You're not a tiefling. It's... You're not a tiefling, right? It's a Charmander tail with a little flame. It's a Charmander. It. It's got a little. Ta- it's got a little fire at the end of it. You're not a dragonborn. What's no. going on? Where did you grow a tail? I'm gonna feel like a really bad parrot if I didn't notice a tail before. <laughs> you could say that. Um. I kind of got captured by a bunch of wizards, and I was kept in a bottle for three months, and they experimented on me, and then they gave me a tail. Marcus just immediately points to Ab. I know, he's not going to do that. He's just going to kind of go, to be fair, that that would not mean... No, to be fair, in Kieran's mind, he left the little ones, as he thinks of them, in Marcus's care. So he's going to slowly just, it's like this, to Marcus. Oh, yeah. You might want to point, because you're in trouble. <laughs> yeah, he, okay, as soon as, like, Kieran turns, he's just going to immediately point to Ab again and go... <laughs> It was it's not not it's the same thing from other. Ah, yes, Marcus, the good old fashioned church boy. Twas not I, Lord. Twas the woman. <laughs> Twas the, the woman. <laughs> the witch. The the witch. witch. The yes, I finally thing. get to accuse. I finally witch got to accuse trip. a witch. I got to accuse a woman of witchcraft. I'm done. I'm done. I have done everything I wanted with Marcus. Let's let's go. Oh my God. I Kill him now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she, she just leaves. She's just like, he leaves. I can't Bye. People pass behind me. Uh, <laughs> Continue. You know, Mar- Mark just We thought you were out, just but... saying, I'm out, guys. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, I'm killed. She was not responsible for the children. <laughs> Don't make me Put it like that. Kira's just going to go, I'll get the rest of the gist of that later. But you have a tail now. I do have a tail now. You also, and he, like, he squeezes her arms. Got a little bit bigger. I am a little bigger. Good job. I've been, I've been doing my best. I have, she definitely also has an axe that is definitely, should be more for like Kieran size, but it's on her back. <laughs> I, I like to imagine that it's a great axe for her, but it's the same size as the battle axe that he wields in one hand. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No, this is a this is a big axe. This is like taller than she is. This is a axe. great axe for a large creature. Basically, she's an anime character wielding ah. something significantly too big for her. It is too oh. big, too hulking to be considered an actual axe. It's more like a lump of steel strapped to. Never mind. Okay, okay. You're like guts mixed with just regular anime boy now. Yes, I am what Cloud wishes to be. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so he's just going to, if you start getting grumpy when you fight she can she kind of kicked my ass the first time you deserved it I know yeah between between uh, you and, and Sigurd I may maybe started down a barbarian path maybe well, that makes a lot of sense. Looking at it, looking at you now. 
Well, I guess swing and axe really good, and my tail really helps and get the momentums and stuff. And it... I'm, still, I'm uh, really good at it. No, I, I'm sure I you knocked, are. I, I knocked Marcus on his ass in like less than a minute. I was really proud of myself, and then he came back up. But I'm that was not me going to blame armor on that one. Yeah. But it is good to know that I could kick Marcus's ass in less than a minute. I feel like I should very be proud. That's totally fair. <laughs> very proud. I feel like I should be offended by this, but it is true. <laughs> Sorry. You don't uh, get to be offended by this. Right, well... We'll see how you are in action soon. Ruffles her hair. <laughs> she sustained second degree burns instantly. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. He still does it. He's just like. Oh, technically, I do have a belt of fire jack strength. So. <laughs> Kieran's just one of those badasses that can just lick his fingers and put out a candle. Right. <laughs> Look up. He licks his whole hand and ruffles her hair. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. No. So quickly, you're it just psh, just smokes <clears throat> Hades style from Hercules. Whoa, is my hair out? <laughs> no. Yes. I can finally. Oh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Idea for a character later. Sorry. <laughs> Hades. Uh, so Matt's just next well, character um, just Hades. He just like looks like yeah. I need. So do I need to punch Marcus again for you, or did you already handle that? I mean, I've already hit him, but I can hit him again. Marcus, come here! Uh, <laughs> you already broke my nose. I'm not going to be the one hitting you, Callie is. Uh, Callie already took a, a soft punch, albeit. I was surprised. But still took a soft punch. Well, Callie, go run up and punch him. <laughs> the 19 to hit. Fuck yeah, that hits. <laughs> I got 14 AC right now. <laughs> He's about to baby. No, I got 12 AC. I did the math. What a baby, right. man. I, I had to whip out the uh, the sick D and D, D and denial dice that I was given. Hey. They're cool. I like them a lot. They're blue, my favorite color. I love them. They're just super mine, cool. Mine, mine are black and yellow. I got blue ones. Ooh, I need to get some of those. Mm-hmm. But uh, that is max damage, so fucking ten points. Oh right, you're a monk. <laughs> the nose kind of just kind of. Oh, oh right, you're a monk. <laughs> I was like, oh right, you don't just do base damage. <laughs> <laughs> he just goes, oh poor fucking nose. <laughs> no, this is square to the chest. She's co- she's trying to. Like, <gasps> okay, enough. He's knocking he, the wind out of you. He does. That. Oh yeah. All right, I do feel better now. Told you. All right, we're done punching you, Marcus. You can breathe easy if you can breathe. For now. If you find weird ass armor again, don't touch it. You're banned from touching armor. Any armor. <laughs> Any armor. Uh, no, I'll just. Oh shit, my old chain mail is probably incinerated by now. Never mind. Melted oh, into oh, wait, no, and I can't even go to shit. And he goes to the like, here's like just like crappy scale mail or chain mail. I'm not going to be able to go into sanctuary anyway. Uh, yeah, probably not. <laughs> no, I legitimately can't. Why not? He's like, as he looks at Kieran, he looks to Abigail and looks back. Because somebody thought it would be fun to store unholy artifacts in my pack. And, uh... See, you looked at Abigail when you said that, but that seems more like something Wellington would do. No, it was not Wellington. It was Abigail. You burned? So, not saying that Wellington didn't, like, approve of it, seeing as he <laughs> saw it, that he saw it happen, and he went, oh, and she said, that, it's that a prank. Kier- 
it's a yeah. prank. And he yeah. went, oh, okay, cool. What? That did not. Mm-mm. I'm pretty. If I remember correctly, you were did that not happen, Marcus? No. Oh, when Markham, she, when he, yeah, Markham when he found that. the when items. When she put stuff in there, you didn't see what she put in, but you saw him doing something with his backpack. Yes, that's, and we're like, oh, prank yes. time. Yeah. And Marcus got fucking screwed over. And he goes, yeah, no. Hence how, yeah. hence how Sir Wellington knew to tell Marcus, oh yeah, that was Abigail. No, wasn't yeah. it because he saw that she had some of the artifacts beforehand? Because she literally gave him one? No, Sir no. Wellington has one. Oh, yeah. It was that, and then Sir Wellington also said that. So it's just like he kind of like thought it, like yeah, this could be about. And then Sir Wellington it was like months confirmed ago. Yeah. I don't remember for sure. Actually, we're nearing a year ago at this point. Yeah. So he goes, and yeah, and he goes, yeah. So, eh, I don't mind living alone, just as long as I can have a mace, again, some scale mail, and something, and I'll be fine. I just want to make sure all y'all get to sanctuary. Well, there's a portal that's open to go back home. Isn't that a bit better than sanctuary? Oh, yeah, As you're is. saying that, you look to Ab- if Abigail looks down, she'll see Sir Wellington just holding up a cookie towards her. You have to stop doing that. But why? Because she slowly reaches for it. Enjoy the cookie. And mm-hmm. he just slowly walks off. Oh yeah, there is there's the portal. Yeah. Get back. There's okay. No portal. Remind remind Mac, because it's been two weeks. Where was did who da, 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 da. I can talk so well today. Where was the portal supposedly at? For what? It's not support it's not supposed. <laughs> you saw the portal. It goes to Adenia, and oh, it's in right. Histon's lab thing. Right, that's where it was. I'm he like, never wait. saw that. That was, uh, oh yeah, you, you know, did. Yeah, he no, did. Wait. He just had to go save Callie first. I mean, he saw right. the one fucking scary ass thing, like crawl into the. Portal. Oh yeah, that's true. You saw other creepy then, things too. Into the so portal. yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I remember that because yeah, uh, the same place where uh, Abigail and whoever. The one, there were two other people that were doing experiments on there's a portal out of here. So, yeah, there's that. Yeah, I guess I don't really have to go to sanctuary. No, you can just go through the portal that I opened. <laughs> yeah, after doing uh, what exactly, Abigail? You listen, you don't need to know everything. It's magic stuff, you wouldn't get it. Okay, first off, Naz, you're not talking to Marla, you're talking to Marcus. It's anyway. not a wizard. Marcus will just. I'm going to look about the magic now. I yeah, ma- remember, oh. Abigail is an undead wizard elitist. If you are not undead or a wizard, you are an idiot. Not a wizard, just <laughs> undead. Just yeah, I know how, I know he just to... talks down to people bit. anyways. I know how to use magic now in certain ways. Oh, I'm sure you do. I'm really sure. My point is Oh, I'm so tempted to give a demonstration. They're demonstra- not wizards, therefore. I am so <laughs> tempted to give a demonstration of one of the runes now. <laughs> <laughs> can I do one without damaging just as a demonstration? Because there's damage to it, but I, can I like have no damage? You can target somewhere else, like a rock or something. Well, that's the thing. It, it has to be a creature. Ooh. Oh, I mean, Marcus, you want to be... Can I demonstrate something on you? No. Please. <laughs> No. Please. I have already been punched twice. No. Listen, I'm sure no. someone who doesn't have the intelligence to put on a shirt could not figure magic out. So He's wearing armor something. now! <laughs> he just kind of looks at Abigail and just like kind of looks at the other and like do you really want to like he's not like he kicked my ass. Do you know what he could do to you? <laughs> Kira just kind of walks up to Abigail and just looks at her and just goes Actually, because you know, of a... He's just gonna go, you know what? And he's gonna boop her on the nose and be like, to s- you're not, it's not a problem. You'll see when we fight other things. I don't want to hurt you. And then he just walks away. Actually, like, you tell yourself that. 
He goes, you know, if I hit you, you'll probably die, right? <laughs> you tell yourself that. Please, please. It makes you feel better. Marcus is going to start backing away from the two. Like, <laughs> oh, no. Oh, so, no. Yeah, I'm not going to hit someone that little and just walks away. You know, you Enough two are the highest levels in the party, right? Yeah. <laughs> Abigail. Huh? Abigail has. Yeah, a but Abigail oh, is on 22 hit points. She didn't rest, I think. Oh, that's true. Do you know are the highest oh. levels of the group? Uh, Abigail and Karen. Well, Wellington's the same, Wellington's Isn't the same level Wellington? as us. Isn't Wellington's the same level as us. Oh, he is? Yeah, no. What level are you guys? Because I can tell you what level I am. Am I behind? I'm, 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 all, I'm always I'm behind. Probably, no, I think Marcus and Callie are the lowest. Ten. Yeah, what I level got an are extra you? from the... Four. I just have one extra. I'm, I'm level 12. Ten. I'm the highest level of the group. <laughs> What level? What fifteen? I'm level thirteen. Oh, okay. Oh, that's not that. I forgot bad. you oh, leveled so up a that few much times. Difference. Huh? I forgot you leveled a few, up a few times in failure. Yeah. Do I get a level for? You, you never answered me, Markham. Do we get a level for surviving a nuke? No. You get a level for training, not trauma. <laughs> uh, you train by practicing. What? My trauma fuels my rage. That's true. I should get barbarian levels for trauma. Also, like you can practice, like in in practice, like you go out, you do also, things, well, you yeah, learn things. I should also, also get a level like, yeah. for coming after for for beating up Marcus. I'll consider it. I'll consider it. <laughs> okay. You and the fucking level ups. I fucking swear. Cal, <laughs> your Selkie stuff. is always like, "Hey, I walked across town. Do I get a level up?" Hey, I ate a pie. Do done. I get a level up? So anyway, Mark I didn't get a level you know up after long killing a hundred. had a level up since <laughs> well, she was wait, in a jar, you, Marco. Yeah, because you now, were frozen the whole time you I'm, were in the jar. This is, no. this is not. This is not like because Kira's not going to fight Abigail. He wouldn't fight Abigail because he knows she's part of the group. But like, just for curiosity, are you are you classified as an undead? Not anymore. <laughs> Not anymore. Okay. Not anymore. <laughs> then, then I can't anymore. one shot you with just my axe, but w right now at 22 HP, but I could. Well, if I roll max damage, I. If, well, if I roll max damage, I do 21 damage. Ooh, yeah, that'd be close. close. But, Didn't they have a but, long rest, so you should be at full mm -hmm. health again? No, they were not have, rest. We interrupted the long have. rest. They, they, we, health, they, so they, slept, they slept. They slept. We had oh, we had yeah. a whole night. You guys had the whole night, Callie. Uh, Abigail, oh, yeah. you're up at yeah. You got long rested, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. Callie's at full health again, so we must right. have had a long rest. And then Marcus died and got to a new body, so he's just boom. He yeah. came Marcus well, now. Kind of well, <laughs> Marcus had a long rest there, getting dressed by the. Now I'm gonna kick stuff. your ass. <laughs> I don't Get know over. about that. Slay. Oh yeah. Cast spell. Girl, yeah. queen, Cast pussy boss. Slay master. the house. Boots down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Marcus I, is backing away from them. I've gotten honestly changing. Lay the, the house, made, the boots down. Changing the fighter made Kieran so much more overpowered. <laughs> Rune that, but yeah, anyway, he's just gonna he's just gonna go and he's just gonna boot Abigail on the nose and go, just go, eh, you're adorable, and walk away. Mm-hmm. And then he's gonna walk up to Callie and just like, all right, show me how hard you can punch and hold his hand up. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Let's go. That's a good one. But anyway, progress, progress, plot. That's all Kieran wanted to do was talk shit to Marcus <laughs> and hug Callie. And Wellington Sir Wellington was... still, Sir Wellington still like keeping his distance from. Marcus. I have a, I have a dad again. <laughs> Marcus and a dad who like... doesn't want to kill me. Fuck like, yeah! You have both dads now. Yes. Uh, Mar Marcus. Dads. Marcus will like kind of look toward Sir Wellington. He he's definitely. I mean, if you want to roll inside a can, it's pretty obvious he is not feeling good about what he has done. So, I will secure and see him like look over, and he's going to like go kind of stand like next to Wellington in between him and Marcus, just because he's still. Doesn't fully trust Marcus again yet. It's gonna it's gonna take a while, but he is just gonna pat well to pat Wellington on the head. Be like, you're right, little guy. Um, yeah. Overall, I I would say I'm okay. 
All right, you let me know if you need anything, all right, bud? And then whatever needs to happen. With all the soldiers that are standing here watching us have to stand. Yeah, they're just reunion. like, <laughs> the fuck's going on? The, literally, the commander is just staring in awe at the bubbling waterfall fountain wall of lava that used to be the obsidian tower they could not breach. And he's just like... How the fuck? Oh, he did that, and he points to Alberion. Alberion. That yeah, is what we need to go do to Histon, okay? Well, um, that, that, that's where I'm the fucking sure portal would, is! I'm pretty sure that would vaporize your sister. Well, then don't do that, but do it close enough to him so that he can suffer and stuff. And no, that's not where the portal is. I can is. guarantee if I did that close enough to him, he wouldn't suffer at all. Uh... Okay, we'll find something else then. But we have to make sure it works. I can guarantee you this works. He points at the, the lava. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, but... Do you need more proof? <laughs> no, that's why I suggested it. But you are right. If she's in the same building, it's probably a problem. But we need to get to that building. And everyone's here. Everyone's happy. Can we please go? Holy shit, I forget how annoying it to be. And it, yeah, but we should go. <laughs> this is what happens when we take a two week break, folks. We're okay. going. We're gonna have we're, going we're gonna have a session on Christmas Day this time just to make sure that we don't know I'm getting. <laughs> well, uh, you can't because Christmas Day is on a Monday. <laughs> well then we'll have a I bonus mean, session on a Monday. No, I'm kidding. Not our day. <laughs> I, I mean that the week before Christmas and the week of that Christmas is on, I'm fine with both those weeks, just saying personally. Same. Good. Oh, not not the one after. Well, I'm guessing we can worry about that later. <laughs> yeah, um, we'll sort that out after the session because there's two more weeks until Christmas. There is what? Yeah, I feel like you're a liar. Yeah, no, there's three weeks. Two weeks, and then it's the week of Christmas. No, you got three weeks, my guy. You got the fourth, the eleventh, the eighteenth, and then the twenty fifth. Oh. I was off my guy. One. <laughs> you got three weeks, my guy. I was close. panic because I still need to buy presents. <laughs> so, okay. anymore. <laughs> anymore. So he, so uh, Sir Wellington will go up to the the main guy and go. So it looks like a barian took care of the castle. I don't know what happened to Marcus. He seems to be more sound. Um, and so Alberia might be the person you want to talk to and figure out what is happening to like fighting and reclaiming the, the land. Cause he, he has some really good strategies and I trust him. I mean, I personally vote we get out of here. This is not safe. And uh, now that that thing is, well, it's at least nerfed um, with its armor lost to the lava. Um, but it did experience a burst of power, so it's probably going to want to wreak some havoc. So we should probably get out of here before it does so. And perhaps find a way to close that portal. Or at the very what? least, um, what portal? Secure it. The one that you opened, Abigail. Why are you trying to close it? Do you know the shit I went through to open that thing? Yes, and do you know the shit that could come through it if we don't stabilize it once we're on the other side? Or we have to it. go through it and then close but it. Obviously, yes. that is the pl oh so I don't I have any more rubies, so I can't close it. I, I just had I just had the two for the portal for the Feywild Felia sorry the Felia ones. You need you need rubies for. Well, there were portal. some really there were really specifically cut gems, and I went you and chucked it through the portal, and it went 
And because if you and, if you need rubies to do portal things, I have one. Oh, uh, I have. We refer to portals. I don't know. I have a ruby. He he's gonna cast minor illusion and make it look like the port, like the type of ruby he needs is just floating, like like right above his hand, just slowly spinning like that. That's what we need. This is a very specific kind of ruby. Because I have What's a general he... ass ruby. Markham, would that be what she has? Is it a particular kind of ruby or just any ruby? I don't know. You you said it was like a like it was cut in a certain way, I feel like. Wait, which ruby was this? The ones I used to destroy the portals. Oh, no, yeah, those were very particular fey artifacts, which are now destroyed. Yeah, good job. <laughs> if you wish to go re-rob Oviren, you may possibly find more. So, I think that, uh, I, would I know that they're specifically fey artifacts? Uh, you would have a pretty good guess, yeah. All right. So, unless you picked some up when you were what, tromping around in the swamp in the in in Phalia, um, you probably do not have the ruby we need. Um, but we could always try to go and take more from Oviren if if you think that that we need to. I can take some of us and do recon mission. And I don't think my general last ruby would help. I could always set up a ward there once we get through, actually. Um, it would... It would... Not close it, but it would seal it enough that nothing we didn't wish um, to come through could come through. That'll work. Yeah, I guess we can just start to head yes, there. you're off to adventure. Abigail's going to go the other way if y'all are going back to the old distant place. He's not there. Well, because didn't okay so abigail we opened abigail the portal in is... histon's old castle i'm trying uh -huh. to go to his new location where i know where it is somewhere else well i mean the... so we there's a portal there's a portal off the island at the old place yep i'm trying yep. to go to the new place why why to because get her sister sister's there <laughs> have you disclosed that your sister is there because yes multiple right. times okay yes it's Callie's coming. Ab with. Abigail has been very vocal about the fact that uh she's trying to go get back her sister. Yeah, well, she just yelled at everyone about it. Yep, now I am a sad. Well, also and... when we were having dinner the night before, the whole thing was like, but we are trying to go get my sister. Let's go yeah. get my sister. Yes. Okay. Yeah, she's yeah, been yeah. annoying about it very much. Uh, yes, I somewhat recall being annoying. But now Okay, Callie's gonna come with because she's a sap and it's all about finding her siblings. <clears throat> it's gonna just trope after I almost said Micah, that's not who it is. Abigail. Nope. <laughs> Other Go one. Follow Abigail. Like a little puppy. Himbo puppy. <laughs> uh, I mean considering Marcus is now not really. Eh. I don't know. Sir Wellington doesn't really care where he's going. He's going to be like, uh, he's going to be like walking next to Oviren and like talking Oviren. about magic. Sorry, not Oviren. Sorry, Alberians. <laughs> oh, All the, the, the Arians. Beautiful 
children. It's so good oh, to see like, you. All Argus. the Arions. <laughs> Alberian, Ovarian. No, it's just that's, Ovirion. That's why I was very it's confused. Ovirion. I thought it was all... Ovi... Uh, yeah, yeah, I thought it was Ovirion. O... No, yeah, it's... Like, o... like, the shake, like, so close to the Shakespeare uh, Midsummer close. Night. Yeah, yeah, it's close. Oh, he was Ovirion. Ovirion. Was, he was overrun with all the bunnies that he got. Oh, he was. Go. Yeah, and he stole all their souls. Yep. And then had a hissy fit. Mm, delicious bunny souls. Gold. Anywho, he's going to be chatting with Albarian and like go. walking next to him and being like, so, Dan, how do you do this? And he's going to be like talking about like his magic stuff and like trying to understand. <sighs> How Albarian is now young and like having him trying to explain all that. He's going to start explaining the process of the spell <laughs> clone to Sir Wellington then. Um, cool. Where are you guys walking to? Are you guys going up to uh, Histon's old tower then? No. Going to the new tower. Abigail and Callie the for sure going to the tower. new tower. Where she knows he is because he come up on her arcane. Is everyone else joining them? <laughs> I don't know, I'm, I'm just, out. again, I'm following Albarian. Albarian, you said you were coming. No, I'm coming. Alright, so <laughs> is everyone anymore. going then? Uh, Alright, yeah. Go. The guards are going to just... We have an army? How much stimulation <laughs> We casually yeah. have an army just Yes, you guys, the, the soldiers you are can like... come. Just You're gonna... all invited to. There is something to do. You can do it. What, what, what are we dealing with? <laughs> A stupid old fucking wizard. That she used to work for. That, that, that sounds really. like a personal vendetta, not a something tale. any of us should worry about. And there's just kind of like a general consensus of why should we care. Oh, you should care. He's a problem for everyone. Roll deception. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's really <laughs> not. Marcus immediately <laughs> just... Succeeds because he saw the fucking statues of everyone. He's like, yeah. Oh no, he's just 12. generally a dick. 12? Yeah, no, yeah. she convinces like two guys are like, Let's come! And the rest are like, mm. Yes, that is a good energy. <laughs> the commander approaches, well, I'll wait until Kieran gets back for that. But uh, yeah, generally, general consensus, they're going to leave. And you guys can travel there on your own and deal with this personal vendetta on your own. Save for two random guys that you got pumped up. <laughs> yeah, I like you guys. <laughs> Marcus is just kind of sitting, just like, not no, like, uh, I don't know. And there's another like eight that are joining you, but that's because they're part of your old party from the shipwreck. Among them, early on, who, by the way, as soon as he gets the chance and things calm down, you, Callie feels like an ambush hug from behind as early on jumps yeah. her. Early on! <laughs> hey, little sis, how you doing? All right, you're, the brother. <laughs> you're fucking alive! Well, yes, Don't so yell you. at me about my language. Uh, you know, it, we've had a rough couple of months, years? I don't know how long we've been here now, but it's been rough. I don't know. It's, you know, I say you're entitled to it. You're fucking alive! She's hugging him again. <laughs> He's gonna pick her up and spin her around, spin her around, unintentionally catching poor Marcus's rags on fire. Um, <laughs> if he's <The> near. <laughs> well, no, he has the fur thing on now. Remember? Oh, perfect! The new fur is on fire. <laughs> no wait, wait. Pat it out, pat it out, pat it out. He's just like, he's eh. not, wait. He's not even really near. Oh, he's like, not. They okay. kind of started walking off to. But then he's like, wait, I don't want to go home. <laughs> he's up by himself trying to get home. I will say Kira, like, retroactively since I was going to, Kira would have grabbed Marks and be like, come on, you shit. You little uh, shit. Y'all don't want me anyway. Just let me leave. No. Who said? Who said we didn't want you? Hey, you You're want dick you want to redeem dick. yourself for the shit you did? Congratulations. Consider me your parole officer. Oh, joy. That's semi terrifying. That is terrifying. Here in the well, dance, gonna... like parole officer. Well, if you're gonna... <laughs> Again, 
I just like some basic fucking armor. Well, get you some shit later. Oh, by the way, I got new stuff. The commander yeah. approaches Kieran and says, Well, uh, we're going to head back. Um, looks like the job's been done for us. Uh, we'll keep an eye out for this creature that uh, they described. Um, you do that. Uh, you there, kid. Uh, what's your name? He points at Marcus. Uh, name's Marcus. All right, if you want some, uh, if the rest of you are fine waiting for us uh, about a half hour or so, we can, uh, we'll all teleport back, get Marcus outfitted with some armor, and then get him right back to you. Uh, again, I don't know how this, all right, I'll, I'll just wait here, because I'm kind of sure if they say me sanctuary, they're going to have a few questions. That's a fair point. It I'll actually would take a few hours to get you through the uh, TSA process, anyhow. All right, we'll be right back did, with our um, dude, armor. You have to go through that every time. Did, did, you can't just teleport in. Yeah, we got to make listen. sure that we haven't been infected or replaced or anything like that. He'll just kind of like look and like, because he huh? said, like, I can't go okay. to Sanctuary. He's going to just kind of go like, I, 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 I can't. Anyway, I appreciate it. Thank you. And he's just going to kind of just sit on the log. He's been sitting on just. I don't have my fucking. Be right back. I'm just getting some water. All right. Um, Thank you. Because you know, Marcus Fallon said, like, he's not allowed to go in. It's true. The guards will be like, all right. Um, all right. Uh, if you think you can survive out here on your own with that armor, then we wish you the best of luck. Um, oh, wait. Aren't you gonna wait, come? wait, wait. Wait, I thought you were going to teleport it back. We we don't really have the uh, the resources to teleport back and then bring back our armor and then go back and then bring back the armor. That's that's going to be a lot of work. Um, you, you know what? You know what? I'll, I'll just scavenge off of something. You, you guys can go home. I'll just scavenge off of something. I'll be sure to stay behind everybody. I appreciate it, though. But yeah, yeah. You, y'all can go. He's gonna actually just kind of look at Kieran. Can they go home? I, I I don't know. I didn't hire them. They 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 can go back. Best of luck he's to you. Wait, the before boss. they do, yeah. Is the commander? Is it Callius? Yeah. Can can old Cali? Is he gone or uh, no, are they behind gone. us or can we see them? You can see them. Okay. She's gonna just kind of walk up to him and she's quiet. How, she's gonna like. She looks like she's thinking, and she's just kind of like, I don't know if he's going to attack based on this, but she's just kind of like grabbing his face kind of look. Uh, may I help you? <laughs> no. And she's kind of backs <laughs> off no. and she walks away. Just like narrows his eyes at her and is like, you are the okay, weirdest then. wizard. <laughs> That's saying something. <laughs> That is fucking saying something. Yeah. I've seen some fucking weird wizards. All right, uh, <laughs> as the uh, as the the army then teleports back, save the two who are going to be going with you, and the other eight, uh, early on included, who were from your original party. Anyhow, um, uh, let's brother. take a quick ba- let's take a quick five minute bathroom break as uh, you guys begin your journey. It'll take you about a week to get down to the new castle um, that you located. Hist in time. Yeah, and then we have Hist in time. Uh, but we have some fun him. stuff for the journey along the way. So, I'm I'm so excited. I want I want to see Hist again. I don't want to kill him. I love that. I love <laughs> this energy from Naz. It's it's fantastic. I love <laughs> Hist so much. I was so sad when I thought I killed him the first time, and now I'm ready. I love <laughs> him, but I I want to kill him. I want to kill him myself. <laughs> I it's his turn time. Come on, grab your friend. We'll go to <laughs> very distant I miss, land. I miss Histon and Abigail's bullshit. They just <laughs> that was hilarious. Oh my god! Really god. Good. I need I need to come up with like a few last bullshit lines. So yeah, just wait till you walk in with this little raccoonicorn next to you this time. 
<laughs> I feel like that is true. the funniest thing is like Abigail could literally like do a meteor swarm and Kieran would still be like, oh, you're so little. And she's just like, yeah. <laughs> All right. <sighs> five minute break. Then we'll is be the back. old hag still there? Old hag is, I believe, in Callie's pocket. No. He is yeah. in Dahlia's pocket. Dahlia's pocket. Dahlia's pocket. Because so it's my she mom. Was, she was turned to stone and then turned <laughs> to gold on top of stone. <laughs> it's multiple <laughs> levels of fucked over right there. <laughs> There's a lot okay, of so it, Histon does not realize who I am at first. Well, not realize who I am at first. <laughs> nope. She was the one with the ability uh, True Sight, I think. Or something yep. along those lines. yep do. All right. We'll be right back, everyone. Hold on to your butts. <laughs> All right. Here we go. I think we're back. Yes, we're back. Um, we need to go right here with you. Um, oh, and there we go. Okay. So, thank you all. We are back from our break. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, uh, you guys are going to begin your week-long journey to, um, deal with Histon. Deal with Histon. Uh, who is Deal going with to be it. who is going to be leading this party? I know where it I, is. I can I yeah, I think Abigail say, because Abigail's yeah. the only one who knows where we're going. I'll stand like right behind. I'll kind of follow like a little behind Abigail just so like if anything does happen, like there's someone who can protect the tiny wizard. Tank, tank there's someone who can tank a little in the front. Fair enough. First things first, I need a perception check from everyone. Hell yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, that is a twenty-one. Think? That is a six. Uh, 17? A 17? 13. 12. Did anyone... Okay, so we have a 21 and a 17, and then the others are all below a 15? Yes. All right. Those of you who got over a 15, you hear a lot of noises just kind of echoing throughout the mountains so you basically have to kind of circle around what what once was the castle and go up into the mountain range and as you begin to traverse into the mountain range you begin to hear all sorts of unholy noises um and i don't mean like the the um unholy noises i mean like the (laughs) unholy noises um marcus is holding up that amulet ready to did he get over 15 (laughs) ready to blast no, not me. Nice. Oh, and Callie can... is a candle. Oh, re- oh, that too. Really quick, can Marcus? I don't know. Roll something to see if he can find any sort of armor or anything. Um, I'm gonna say he could, but it won't matter because you could roll a nat twenty and there isn't anything. You're just in the wilds right now. Do I have something? De- there's for no you? dead. There's no dead bodies. Like, no. Oh well. Um... Not up here. Oh, shit. Which in itself armor. should be a concern, because it means something's been cleaning up the bodies or eating them. Mm-hmm. I or don't have Resurrecting them to use for, se? well, um, raising them to use them for necromantic purposes. Can I give Marcus my robe of useful items? Sure. It looks a bit like a mini skirt on him. It's a little bit small. Um, it's a robe! It looks, it looks All right, more so like it's a, it's a short robe. Like, yeah, I mean, it's above the knee. <laughs> it's above That's... the knee. You got a oh tunic. You got a tunic. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at, at least, least that has... gives him that gives him like an inventory ish. Okay, uh, hold on. Let me add that. What is it? robe yeah. of useful? A items? robe of useful items. The robe of useful items. Also, based on what I rolled on it, it's got, um, because you can roll, like, 44, uh, for additional patches. Uh Uh-huh. She's only used it once. Okay. So, you have, on this, you have... Twenty-five plus nine. So... Thirty-four. You have thirty-four... 
34 patches that you can rip off and get a useful item. Okay. Uh, but it's a it's a D100 roll of what you get. Hold on, did I? Where is it? I just had it. Oh, robe of useful items. There it is. Okay, yeah. Give me away. Yep. Uh, so rip off a patch and then roll a D100. Well, you've got you've got two patches that are guaranteed to give you either a dagger, a lantern, a mirror, a ten foot pole, some rope, and a sack. Okay. You have two of each of those. Okay. And then the rest of the patches, you roll the D100, and it has the chart included in the item description. Okay, yeah, he will definitely uh, just, like, as soon as uh, she gives it to him, because I imagine it's probably at the start, he is going to rip off one patch and see what happens. I don't know if you want to do that, because sometimes you get a boat. <laughs> Wait, what? Just... You roll okay on the on the chart. You Holy can shit! Get, okay. Yeah, you can either get gold, a door, some gems, a horse, some healing, a boat, or a window. <laughs> yeah, you know what? A window? What the? A fuck? window? <laughs> Just like a. Um, yeah. <laughs> the window. What the fuck is that gonna do? It's no, a magical. No. It's a magical window that you can place in any wall. Okay. That, uh, <laughs> that you can place in any wall. So you, there's a you, there. you know what? Because I haven't been able to do bullshit, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna patch and see what I get. Do Wait, no. <laughs> you don't Why? have a bag Those of holding or anything like that to put anything you in. Got a 33, so that's a you got a 24 foot. You got a 24 foot long wooden ladder. You just, you just got have just, it. You just have it now. <sighs> you just have oh. a wooden ladder with you in a very fiery. Congratulations. He just kind of looks at it and just kind of has an idea. Kieran, <laughs> can I borrow your axe for a second? What are you doing? I walk up and hold my axe on my shoulder. What do you need? We need to... And he like just is now randomly holding this 24-foot ladder. By the way. He's just going to go, what? I need to make what? part of this. I need to make you... I cannot talk today. What the hell? Can you cut what? this down and make part of it a quarter staff? Sure. Sure. I take about six feet of the ladder, break it at like six feet, break the ladder parts with the axe, and then just hand him one of the like side pieces, which is, which would be flat. But I, oh my god, I did make Kieran. Kieran does have woodworker's tools. Ah. <laughs> yes. Perfect. But I would take yes. a while yes. as someone who's actually done woodworking. It does take to a just, while, yeah. To just whittle him a staff out of six feet of basically a two by four, that would be. Oh, yeah, to get this. You get got the, a week. You got a week? You got a week of walking. Yeah. Over that week of walking, I'm going to slowly whittle the. <laughs> gonna make him a staff. Yes! <laughs> I ship it. Uh, um. Wait, what? What? <laughs> what? I mean, I, I have a ship. I can get a ship, but no. I mean, you know, they both are currently girlfriendless. One is. Whoa, long whoa, whoa, whoa! I still have whoa, a girlfriend. Whoa, 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 whoa. I still <laughs> have a girlfriend. Your Wait, long distance. We all know long distance relationships last maybe a week, and you guys are already going to be gone a week. So there hey, you hey, she guess what? My house. Jokes, on, jokes on that. Joke's on that. I've been going on eight years, bitch. Suck it. Oh, damn. All Don't right. you live with your girlfriend? But yeah, she was long distance for a while though when I was in college. Okay, yes. Yeah, so, so it was Kayla, but I'm, I'm, my point still stands because I wanted to. I'm the DM. So no. <laughs> because I wanted to. No. <laughs> no wanted this is not your world, world, Marco. You can't <laughs> control real life. Watch, Watch me. If we could, I would Watch be here. <laughs> I call um, down fire on. Where should I call down fire onto? Callie, because she takes half damage. No, not in this world, the real one. Do it to well, me anyway, so please, I can. Please don't do Japan again. <laughs> not <laughs> Japan. Uh, let's just do, I don't know, all of. Freaking Moscow, I don't know. <laughs> just, what? Just hit, just uh, hit Northern also... Perth in Australia. They already have so many fires going on, they won't realize it's you. <laughs> 
It's in California. <laughs> California is always on fire. All oh, right, um, this I feel like this is devolving. <laughs> this is getting a it little is. dicey. I've also just realized why we're all on a watch list now. <laughs> just as rushes. I'm looking through my inventory, why do I have two? Anyway, I whittle him. I whittle him a stick. All Marcus, right, you want a cool well, great stick? Axe? We're still on day one, so it's gonna, it's gonna be a while. while. <laughs> you know, Mark. And until then, Marcus like will reach into one of like the two big patches, just pull out a dagger, just kind of. Marcus, just... Marcus, do you want? I hope you realize that once you tear off a patch, you can't reattach them. Well, no, the one that was like the one permanent one that like pulls out a dagger. Yeah. No, as soon as you get two of them, but once you pull them off, they cannot be reused. Uh, well, You're we can getting say the... real liberal with these patch pulling. Well, we can say the first <laughs> He's time, He's just Mark... lugging all this. I tore it all off at once. This was a bad I idea. tore it all off. <laughs> this thing Why has no pockets. <laughs> He's like, you yeah. no. He's like, Why do you have I, wish they... I wish they had a dagger here. I was like, oh, there's dagger. And like, that could be the thing where Marcus goes, okay, these things. Because, uh, okay, this will be Marcus's thing. He was like, okay, that was a big thing. For a small thing, it's probably infinite. He's like, I want a dagger. And he pulls out. I was like, ha! And it disappears. Like, oh no. <laughs> All right. Taken. No, taken. And do he you just... want a, Do you want a great axe? Because apparently I have two. Uh, I, I, I can't wield that. Can't wield? What are you, weak? Well, no. Just not not, I guess it's time to learn. I'm not proficient it? in it. I'm just not proficient Wait. in it. I, if you had a Can you do a sword? Can you do a short sword? Not for, well, short sword you could, but not a long sword. Yeah, I've got uh, a short sword. Marcus will, Marcus will just kind of shake his head. Uh, I'm trained. sure he's proficient in a short sword. Uh, uh, Ian! I mean, oh, yeah. this, no, you don't want to be proficient in this one. This one's flame tongue, so this one's got problems. He's like, no. It I, burns a little when you pee. I, I think you should see a doctor if it burns. Like <laughs> you are the doctor! <laughs> I am not You're that kind of doctor. It's a I'm not that kind of dog. Abigail is the next story. closest thing as a necromancer. Yes, yeah, come um, to me. <laughs> and, he, and he just kind of goes, I, if you had a war hammer or a uh, war pick. I have, a I have a tiny hammer that I use for glass blowing. You know what? Yeah, I'll take it. Okay. Thank I'm going to give him my up. light hammer. It's, it's a little like, hammer. The head's about this large. <laughs> it yeah, is like, like your t it's a typical like like Carpentry hammer. hammer. Oh, okay. yeah. It's it's like it little engraving hammer. hammers. Tink, yep. tink, 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 tink. He's going to just mean... kind of look and go, I miss the Uwu hammer. <laughs> it does a maximum of two damage. Two bludgeoning. I, I still love how oh, no, Markham just is dating something from my, do... home, from my homebrew catalog. The Uwu War. <laughs> It, it is one D6. That's for my homebrew catalog. I don't know if you knew that, Mark. Yeah, it's a light hammer. That's, yeah, that's one of my homebrew items. <laughs> I love it. It's so a I'm going. Thing. You have you have a light it's hammer a now. It's very right. good. I'm, I mean, to be fair, a light hammer though isn't too bad. He can still hit pretty decent with that. You can also throw it if you feel ballsy. That too. Yeet, yeet the bitch. So he just. <laughs> He kind of does, like, just because I'm a cheeky bastard. As soon as he goes here, he just kind of does the, like, he accidentally does, like, the sort of Soviet salute. And just kind of goes, eh, all right, yeah, I can do that. You got a sickle as well? Well, no, I he kind of, no, well, not a sickle, but, like, he does, like, the sort of cross thing, except instead of a sickle, it's a dagger. He goes, all right, yeah, I can, I can work with this. So aggressive. <laughs> you know what? You got me! Can Get I, him! Give me a perception check for Marcus. Okay. Uh, that is a big fat. Hold on, math. Oh, Twenty-five. Twenty-five. <laughs> okay. Uh, you actually come across uh as you're walking on your like, lines. All right. You you glance over and you see a house nearby. What? Uh, you're not supposed to be. Here. Phyllis. He's kind of tucked Us? in the mountains. Uh, there's a house. It's a small one. It, it's kind of a small one, but it's the. Why is there a house up here? But he is a like ideal real estate. He is immediately it's free real oh, estate. Oh, I know. He can't do that because the spell goes fucking haywire here. Thank you, Markham. 
the one time I get detect evil and good, and it's fucking useless. <laughs> detect evil, 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 evil. <laughs> yeah, he's, he like goes. Evil. He goes to cast it. And he goes. Wait a minute. Nope, <sighs> I'm not gonna do that. Not gonna do that. Uh, how late is it into the day? Is it like? It's mid morning. Mid morning. Okay. He just kind of goes. Does it look like it's occupied? No, <laughs> not for a very Hola. long time. Occupado. He, he's, oh, he's just going to kind of, uh, since he doesn't have any, he's going to kind of put the dagger in the uh, light hammer in one hand. And he's going to kind of debate on whether or not to just toss light to see if he can, because he can see the outside of it, right? Yeah. Can he see through the inside? No, it's it's solid building. Oh, it doesn't have any this windows. Is a good time for one of your windows. I know, right? <laughs> if only I had one of the windows. <laughs> no, if only you had. Yeah, no, if only it wasn't a rare I hate chance that to it pull out a window. Could have been so useful right after I trashed it. <laughs> your face. But here's the like, thing, though, is that it's a random chance to pull it. He's got to pull it. He's got to hit like a nine, like an eighty, like an, in the eighties or some shit to pull out a window. Hmm. You're, a you're facing. You're facing kind of the front door. It has a window off to the side, but you'd have to kind of circle around. Okay. It's a surprise tool that'll help us later. He's gonna kind of just kind of look and go. At, hold on a second, guys. There's a house. It is very small. What's the house doing here? Uh, hold on. I'm, I'm too curious. He's gonna just kind of walk up and just. Of course, he's looking around, make sure there's nothing, and he's gonna kind of go up to the door and like see that there's the side windows and kind of try to peer through that. It looks. It looks like no one's lived here for ages. Um, there is dust and cobwebs everywhere. There's a skeleton curled up in the bed. Um, uh, outside, there is the dried up remains of what once was probably a thriving farm. Um, safe bet, someone lived here probably before this world was corrupted. Uh, there is actually a skeleton in the fields and clutched in his hand. Um, the morning sunlight glinting oh, off of it. Oh, there he goes. Is there a he sickle. There, there he goes. What do you mean? You, you bugged out. Yeah, yeah, you bugged the fuck out. Wonderful. But yeah, uh, skeleton holding up something. A sickle. in the sickle. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, it's to... it's not his. It's ours. It, it is ours. <laughs> Plot twist, the Christian is a communist. Anyway. <laughs> I mean, communists always oh. kind of were Catholic. Yeah. And he is gonna, so I assume, I assume we can assume oh, there's not really. Oh, it's your hand, Silky. I thought that was your foot for a second. I was like, what are you doing and <laughs> how? Like, the feet, feet, pit, feet for free, all right. <laughs> she just got the, she just got the, <laughs> He's got that Adam Sandler in the Zoha movie flexibility where just foot. Yeah, right? so. I was like, ah, how did you get that up there? Okay. No, I discovered that I have a tiny bug, a mosquito bite on my wrist, and I'm like, how the fuck did this happen? It's like 40 degrees outside. Where are you? See, I know it's how your did you hand, but I still see foot. I don't know. <laughs> don't do the wrist it's like because... that. It confuses my brain. <laughs> It's because my lighting is ass. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, anyway, I assume Marcus can probably assume there's nothing of use, right? It looks like these were peasants, peasant farmers. It is a good, like, how long have we been traveling? It might be a good place to set like, a camp for the night. Okay, it's like 11 a.m. You've been traveling for like two hours. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. <laughs> he's, he's just got to kind of... Yes, yes. Stop and set up camp at 11 a.m., please. Right. I so, would you know, love just... for you to do that. So, you time... know, just... We are Spaniards. It's time for siesta. <laughs> right? Time for the siesta. But, you know, so, okay. So, they'll just kind of look around, go, like, notice that there's really nothing that they can scavenge. Uh, say a tiny little prayer and just move on. Yeah. Yeah. The farmer died working the fields early in the morning and his wife died in bed. Yep. Hmm. That's not depressing. 
No, it's like one not, of those but... little fallout details that you're like, oh, this is sad when you think about it's it. It's world building. Yeah, it's world building. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So you guys going to continue on? Yeah. All right. As you guys... Onward and up. Where is the plane right now? Hello? Okay. I wasn't expecting this to have, like, neoclassical, like, badass neoclassical music playing, and then all of a sudden it is playing some, like, deep, dark, depressing shit, and I'm like, I was not anticipating this being on this kind of mashup, but okay. Huh. It went from, like, playing, like, the cello cover of uh, Paint It Black from, like, the Wednesday series. Oh, yeah. To all of a sudden Peter Gendry, and I'm like, what the fuck? That's a twist. Ooh, Peter Gendry's That's good. A... <laughs> what the fuck? Ooh, yeah, Spotify Wrapped came out. So much Viking metal and so much, right. uh, so much, mu so many musical soundtracks mm. and anime soundtracks. Mine got most of Viking metal all over the place. Mine got oh. fucked over because I stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So like my top three artists were all lo-fi music <laughs> artists because of like oh. my four months of like, like, at super active regular streaming earlier mm. this this year. Oh, and yeah, I, yeah, mine is all my probably number one my character song playlist. Is, my yeah, number mine one is, was uh, well, also my sexy lo fi playlists. So my, my number one was the only thing that was like it was the uh, Majula theme from Dark Souls 2, which I use for like ambient, like just background music whenever we're not in combat in my home games through a speaker. So, mm -hmm. and I yeah. apparently played it three times as much as any other song, and I'm like makes a lot of sense because I, I just kept it on loop <laughs> yep i had a lot of moody music i listened to on loop apparently i was the in the one percent top listeners of thomas bergerson so his music is so great it's though so good. it's so good so anywho, good anywho my number one anywho. song of the year was i'm still here I'm still... Huh? mine was a song called Ber my number two song was berserkier by brothers of metal that is such a good song oh my god yes. i love Dude, it brothers one? of metal is so good mm. brothers of metal I need was to my, listen to it brothers, brothers of metal, of metal was my, hardcore shit brothers of metal was my top artist this year and i my, love my nice. number my number three song was chain breaker by them and my number five was power snake <laughs> good 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 oh, amazing snake. i mean last year my number one artist was fellowship um, and I'm pretty sure my number one song was Glory Days, um, which if you haven't listened to Fellowship, Cole, you should. I, I, I think I'm, my number one, I haven't seen mine for this year, but I'm pretty sure my one for last year was the entirety of the Dracula soundtrack, the Dracula, the musical soundtrack. Oh, yeah. Listen, yes. they've got, they've, listen, they, some of their songs have no right to go as hard as they do. <laughs> Put it this way, Cole, my favorite, uh, metal bands are brothers of metal fellowship and then also sabaton that's a good one good uh, Ooh, yeah. sabaton is sabaton goes hard following fellowship now um the number four song of the place i was just looking because i was was uh hold the heathen hammer high by tear because also tear is so good also good oh. but i'm following fellowship now and i'm gonna be listening to that while i play games later tonight but <laughs> Two of my top five There's... songs were from the Across the Spider Wars first soundtrack because that's good. My number one song was Champions by Kurt Hugo Schneider. Number two was Children of the Sky by Imagine Dragons, and number four was Everyone Wants to Rule the World by Lord. Oh, I <laughs> fucking love that song so much. I had a version of Everybody Wants to Rule the World on my top like thirty, but it was from Ninja Sex Party. <laughs> yes, yes. All right. Amazing. Anywho, and. Anymore. Anymore. Oh, Anymore. I don't mind. I've just been pulling up the stats for the things that I'm about to throw at you, so I need the time. Anyway. Oh, goody. <laughs> All right. Good thing I get advantage on initiative. So. I haven't gotten I haven't gotten that bonus yet. Well, mine's from Shieldmaster. Mm -hmm. I see. I'm still baby barbarian. I'm not barbarian at all anymore. I am. Now I am the barbarian of. I I only I only fighty boy. My whopping my whopping two levels of barbarian. 
I'm still techie, don't worry. I still have 22 AC and 204 HP. What the fuck? All right. Um, Shield! As you, <laughs> as you guys travel further up into the mountains, uh, you begin to... Uh, you begin to notice that uh, there are kind of bones just scattered. Uh, these aren't bones from pre the the the, the pre corrupted world. These are bones and littered armor of warriors and uh, demon slayers from sanctuary. Uh, Marcus, you quickly find out the armor is actually, it looks like someone grabbed it. So like one would grab paper and then tear it. Oh, oh yeah. This armor is not (laughs) usable. This armor has been bent and bashed and literally ripped like it's paper completely out of use. Um, does Marcus know anything that's wrong? Give me an investigation check and a religion check. If you're going to try and suss out what might have done this. Can okay. I do a village check? I'm so, The uh, intelligence check is a. Uh, wait, does Marcus have intelligence? Uh, he does have intelligence. Does he have investigation? Is what I'm about to say. He does not. So that is a 16 on uh, investigation. All right. And that is Can a. Can I do a religion check? That is a nat 20 on religion. 29. Okay. okay. Uh, there are any number of things that could make that sound uh could um uh tear stuff like that um however coupled with the uh the the noise of the howls you heard throughout the mountains as you've traveled your best bet is this is a pack of barlgurus which is a it is a large ape-like demon that travels in packs to hunt prey um, in this case being you. Um, and after it smashes and bashes everything, all Hulk style, it <laughs> takes the skulls back to its layers to decorate. Okay, so he's going to look and go. And they do hunt in packs, yes. It's going to go. Oh, uh, no. Uh, we got an issue. I mean, we already have issues here, but we have a bigger issue. We got the... What was the name? Balgura? Barogura. Barogura. Oh. Okay, he goes, we we have Baragura. <laughs> Hang on. I get the name right here. I would know what that is being a demon hunter now, right? Uh, you... I'll, I, uh, give me a... Give me a religion check. I'll say you'll know, but you might not have ever experienced one at this point. You probably That's wouldn't true. have. Um, would have read up about it. Can I do yeah, survival since I've been hunting beasts or devils for a while? Would survival be? No, or... survival's more for tracking. It would be yeah. religion to know Oof. about Oh, it. it's those things. Uh, that's a yeah, 19. you remember these things from campaign one, Matt? I do remember. Fucking... Uh, 19. A Fucking, 19. Uh, uh, you have never fought them, but you have read about them. Uh, right, so you big, know the same. So, big fucking monkey devils. Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. There's a big fucking monkey demon here. Most likely a pack of them. But yeah, big fucking monkey oh, devil. Exactly. They're not very threatening on their own, but together in a group, they could be a problem. Yeah. Eh, they're yeah. pretty threatening on their own, too. I mean, they're pretty low. For a lower level party, yeah. They are? Yeah, they're pretty low CR. You know, I remember when Nier and At least rules, at least basic best. ones are. Eh, yeah. <sighs> only... Yeah, but they can be problems. Especially pack of them. So, yeah. Alright. Uh... Yeah. You definitely should be careful. And just to double check, there is no salvageable armor at all. Yeah, they're only CR fives, so yeah, yeah, they're only da- they're only dangerous to lower level parties. Uh, but in a pack, uh, they're probably... not necessarily. <laughs> CR is a very yes. not good way of basing it off of because some CRs 
are like like really even high CR levels are not that strong overall. Uh, whereas some really low CRs are exceedingly overpowered. I almost TPK'd a party of level six adventurers with five shadows because they were all oh. low strength characters. You know, we I, we faced that when we were level eight, if I remember correctly, when when Milo was baby. Yeah, and it did almost kill you guys. So yeah, and that was a single one. Wait, it did. It I did. thought gave a couple of you a run for your mind. Granted, most of you were wizards. I mean, to be fair, I was the fucking right. I think I was like the only actual fucking martial class at that. You group. were. Everyone else was a spellcaster and very squishy. So, or another ranger. Everyone was either rangers or spellcasters. <laughs> you were a squishy party. Um, but yeah, yeah. I mean, to be fair, I was last and I was good. Anyway, sorry, continue. So, um, as you guys are looking through that, with a 16, uh, Matt, you actually do find a, a chain shirt, chain mail shirt, that is mostly intact. It's kind of like got damage to one sleeve, but it's still intact. Um, the, Better than nothing. Yeah, the, the armor that it was under... Uh, the chest was caved in, um, crushing the <laughs> skeleton inside it. Um, but you're able to extract the chainmail shirt and kind of shake the bones out of it, and uh, that's okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm guessing no shield, no shield, by chance. Um. Uh, give me a charisma check. Okay. See how your luck holds up. Even 10? Even 10. I will say you're able to find a very, very dented shield. All right. Uh, and if it still works, it works. He He's just going to kind of <laughs> grab it and just, eh. I missed the smile of the face one, but this one will work. Mm. So yeah, now he actually has a C. Yay! Yay! <laughs> hey, yeah, as soon as he puts on the armor, he's gonna go, Yeah, we we should definitely get the fuck out of here, though. I mean, to be fair, we might be able to hold up, but I would much rather not try and get a pack of them. So I don't know how well that would go. Alright, so you guys gonna move on, then? I think so. Mm hmm Sorry, I'm trying not to laugh at the picture of Marcus walking barefoot with just this short little tunic poking out underneath the chain shirt that he's now got on. <laughs> Rip, straight Winnie. A, Rip, Perrin. Straight, Again, Winnie, a, straight Winnie the Pooh in it. Yeah. <laughs> straight Winnie the Pooh in it. A no, good has, breeze no, gets going and just everyone sees stuff. everything. What? Hey, it, it ain't a bad bad thing though, according to the dice roll I did. <laughs> Listen, it doesn't it doesn't matter how it looks. It's it's the character that prioritizes stats over looks. <laughs> okay. True. That's true. That is true. And to be fair, he has to do that at this point. He is soft, okay? Yeah, I do. Not can't all of us can be color coordinated. Did kinda of fuck the poor guy over. Um, Abigail, do you you still have Alberry on staff, don't you? I have a staff. Yeah, that's Alberry's that he gave you. Did he? Yeah, he gave you the he gave you his staff right before he had you teleport. Oh. Maybe. possible <laughs> i don't know i know I you do because i have it in my notes you have two staffs okay. actually you have albarian staff and you have um okay, he threw it at me or something yeah he tossed it to you and was like hang on to this um, oh yeah yeah so you, you have two staffs now okay as you're walking he's gonna kind of sidle up beside you and say um if you don't mind could i have that staff and he's going to point at your other staff, the one that's made of just kind of gnarly wood that you picked up. Sure, why did you want that one? Oh, because I think you could use that one more than I can right now. Okay, fine. She can send the 
Besides, <laughs> you've earned it. What did I do? You've come a long way since I've met you. You didn't fuck up. Okay, <laughs> don't get all... <laughs> don't Sir get Wellington's all just sitting on his shoulder right now. <laughs> don't get so sentimental. <laughs> <laughs> he would be sitting on. He's sitting there taking notes on how to make clones. By the way, at the end yes. of this, you're gonna you're gonna have to make a note that you know how to do the clone spell, <laughs> even if you're not high enough level for it yet. You at least know how to do it. What? What's this clone? Yeah, that's the name of the spell. Oh, good. I have my binder here. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Um, so Abigail, uh, the staff that he gives you is da, 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 da. not sponsored. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> it's not a Mickey D's. No, no. Ah, uh, Mickey D's nuts. He gives you a staff of the Magi. <gasps> Yo. <laughs> It is Yo! holy fucking shit! Oh, what? Holy fucking shit! I don't know what holy that is. Fucking that shit. Is I just, I just put it in your um, I just put it in your inventory. It is one of the paramount stabs you can get. Uh, he clearly collected this at some point in his ten thousand years of living. Well, yeah. How how did it end up at the bottom of the ocean? There's just no other way I'm to sorry. collect it. Question. He's seventeen thousand years old now. <laughs> there was no other way for him to have collected it. Other than during his 17,000 years of living. <laughs> he's old. He's been a lot of places. He's seen a lot of things, done a lot of things. He picked this how, up at some point. How did it end up at the bottom of an ocean? What? I don't know what this is. What do you mean? Yeah. It didn't. It didn't. He had all of his... his... I'm very you don't think a level 20 wizard can just, like, have access to all their stuff everywhere? Well... You gotta remember, he also... You, well, you don't know how he got to shore. He could have cast Fly on himself and just flown to shore in the, during the shipwreck. But he had all so his wait, gear when he so landed. So this, when you found this him. astronomically powerful staff... I don't want to believe that there's more than one of them. There is. Oh, there's more than one of them? Okay, fantastic. I'm like, how the fuck did the team get one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, no. Different one. Different one. Okay. I was like, how the fuck did but it yeah. end up at the bottom of an ocean? That's the team My now. First has. level eight spell. <laughs> he <laughs> Abigail dies at the end of the campaign in a drowning accident. That's how it happens. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> she has ocean. to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> she forgets she has to breathe and drowns. <laughs> <laughs> Accidentally drowns. I mean, she has forgotten a few things. Like True. she can't walk up walls anymore. <laughs> I'm just waiting for her to try that again and just whoop, whoop. Yes, Marcus Marcus is if if you've ever played Elden Ring and played a wretch, that's Marcus right now. What just happened? Yeah, I, I literally just I didn't say that, but I said it in the chat. Marcus is a Dark Souls character at the beginning of a game. Yeah. Shoddy armor, shoddy weapons. No no no, you're specifically a deprived. Not even like the knight or the soldier class. You're the deprived who just killed its first hollow and went, I'm going to yeah. take that armor. <laughs> yep. Here we go. Here we go. This is this is my hey, list right now. Um, the far right option for my players. Um, this is definitely Marcus. This is the far right option. Oh, for the love of. Fine. I'll just copy the image. Yeah, the wretch, yeah. yeah. He, he's the wretch that got the armor at the beginning. <laughs> yeah. My first ever Elden Ring playthrough is the one I'm still doing, and I chose wretch because I'm an idiot and a masochist, apparently, who was like, you know what? I chose Confessor. I'm going to choose a Dark Souls game and start out with literally nothing. On my first playthrough, and I've never played a Dark Souls game before. Uh, <laughs> Markham. Yeah. <laughs> Alberian took more than a finger from people. Hmm? Alberian took more than one finger from people. Oh, yeah? Yes. He had to at least take two from most people. Yeah. From Sir Wellington, he probably took the whole hand. Yeah. 
I'm just I'm Has just saying generate a lot that night. I know, but I'm just saying <laughs> the fact that it requires one cubic inch of flesh. Yeah, he had. To, yeah, that's true. It was more than a. That, that's a that's a little block like this large. One finger, like you need at least two, like two to three fingers to fill that. Yeah, probably. Well, I mean, if you. No, that's still not I need a blender. like. You need, at a least, blender. you need at least two. Depends on the size of it. I mean, Kieran, he probably just needed a single finger. Put it in a blender and add some water and just call it. It'd be fine. fine. Yeah, yeah they won't notice. Fine. It'd be fine. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, no, he was doing some slicey dicing that first night. Um, yeah. So you could call him uh, Alberian the Butcher, I guess. Uh, so as you yeah. guys proceed on for a while, can I get perception checks from everyone one more time? Uh, that is a 20. Huh. That one's a 4. Yeah. Four. A 9. 17. Super perceptive. 14. Not bad. All right. Abigail, Sir Wellington, and Marcus. You all hear kind of a uh, over uh, the ridge and then over the other ridge and then kind of just bouncing around until you all hear it uh, surrounding you as um, you hear whoom, 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 as of uh, pairs of fists but dozens of pairs of fists thudding into the ground, kind of surrounding you as a pack of Barlgurus pop their heads over the ridge, uh, slobbering and ready to feast. Okay, immediately uh, I am getting into center to everyone, because now I actually have armor. Kind of fan, and I am casting Spirit Guardians. All right. So everyone is saved. But then, yeah, when they move, so everyone within, let me remember, because I still cannot do a spell. Okay, so everyone within 15 feet of me is within it. And, of course, it doesn't hurt them, because, yeah, you're you're my allies. But, yeah, no, anyone that's within 15 feet of me is now sees these uh, angelic-like beings literally just pop into existence and just kind of are at the ready to attack. All right. Um, all right. Uh, let's go to... Uh, I, well, first, everyone roll initiative. Everyone roll initiative, and then we'll go through an initial. You guys each get to do something. So, Marcus, you've already gone. Um, but yeah, you can still uh, roll initiative. 20. Everyone, actually, everyone put your, your initiatives into the chat, so just so I can track it as well. Okay. Oh, nice. Eh, all right. Uh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh shit! I forgot to roll with advantage. Oh yeah, roll with advantage, buddy. Ooh. Yeah, buddy. Hey. Ooh, look at these high rollers. <laughs> nice. Uh, there's. Uh, there's Abigail. I didn't roll yet. Oh, no, that's Marcus. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> You're always expecting a wizard to roll low. On everything but damage, yeah. <laughs> then they roll damage. And it's like, <laughs> that's, that's 300 damage. points of fire damage. Hey, right. yo. I mean, he's it's a fucking cleric. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! I predicted correctly. <laughs> All right, and I just got to roll for the NPCs real quick. We're going to go through our initial. Wow, the NPCs are rolling really well. Um... All right, um, I'll... Da -da. Hey, early on. He goes right after Mark, right before Marcus. All right, that tracks. Mm 
So most of the All stuff right. I can do and is then, like... And last but not least, Albarion. What happened? I did something wrong. Oh, that's what happened. All right. I need to see what his... Oh, not bad. <laughs> not good either. Um, all right, then. And that is going to be... All right. Uh, so... <laughs> so you guys all get to go first. Um, one of the Demon Slayers, uh, very pumped up by, by Abigail's wonderful speech, yells a cry of battle and charges in, draws his blade, and just, whoosh, and charges the first Barogura and just starts slashing away. And, um, that's a miss. That's a miss. And misses three times. Um, he just, wow. he, it's just oh, like, boom, it's just deflecting all three of his hits. Um, and, um, just, just, for, yeah. Um, while he's doing that, uh, let's go through, da, 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 da. okay. So, uh, Kieran, uh, what do you want to do? This is kind of your, your initial prepping for battle round. Prepping uh, for battle? This, yeah. This is kind of the prepare for battle round. Anything you need to do if your barbarian is going into rage, stuff like that. Just, you know, kind of prepping for it. If you want to be like this guy and charge straight in, go, okay. Go uh, for it. I'm going to, uh, have my the shield. theme song for this, this fight. I have my shield up and my axe ready to go, and then What's I'm going to use my new thing for being my new class. <laughs> use this. Yes. I'm going to uh, Giant's Might, Ooh. and <laughs> I become a large-sized creature. Oh, damn. I, yes. I, I, double, I double in height from six foot... Uh, how tall is he now after he grew taller? From six foot eight, I am now 13 foot... Six? 13 feet 4 inches tall. And uh, I have advantage on strength checks and strength saving throws. And if we ever get into an area that I'm too big to be in, I shrink down, but still maintain the strength benefits. And once on each of your turns, you can roll your attacks with a weapon or an arm strike. You do an extra 1d8 damage to a target. So I get an extra d8 on one of my attacks. And I'm just going to grow up to be. Twice my own size, and then just like crick my neck, and that's my preparations. Nice. That's all I can really do. Pretty much every all of my other runes are reactions or additions to attacks. Fighter. Nice. Turns move from a big from thick with three C's to thick thick with six C's. Oh, damn. Nice. Yeah. Eek. He's two thrown in there somewhere for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's me. All right. Uh, that brings us to the NPCs are going to do stuff to get ready. Um, Cal uh, Sir Wellington, I mean. <laughs> Cali Wellington. Cali Ellington. Killington. Okay. Killington. Killington, yes. Well... How many are there? About a dozen. Oh boy. Okay, so I look at them and uh, let's see. What's the, uh, is Maybe right? more. It sounds like there's more, but you can currently see a dozen. Wait. So can I, I can do. So there's. I can oh, do shit. seven. Um. <laughs> I'm not monkeying around here. This ain't no so monkey business. That means three. <laughs> so I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna use uh my seventh level spell slot. Mm -hmm. Hey, mm -hmm. And I'm gonna cast banishment. On one of them? Uh, no, that means I can do three of them. Nice. Oh. Hell yeah. Just go. Go doop, away. Doop. <laughs> He's like, no, I don't know. No monkey business. <laughs> and don't yeah, they get saved for that? Uh, I believe, yes. Uh, it is a charisma saving throw. Um, oh, 
because we all know DC these have such wonderful DC music. 18. Hey. All right, with a minus one. Yeah, no, that one fails. <laughs> that one if fails. That means they have to roll a 19 or. And that one really fails. Yeah, they just. Blip, blip, blip. Bye, monkeys. <laughs> <clears throat> Nicely done. Uh, which which um, three did you target? What? Just three at random. Three that were the closest. Okay. So definitely not the Just... one that the Demon Slayer ran after. <laughs> All right. Uh, Kathy... If I knew that one was getting taken care of, then yeah, I wouldn't have done that one. I would have done other ones. Fair enough. Callie, you're up. I okay, Donkey Kong. All right. All right. Yeah, I said that's that's the theme for this yeah. uh, fight. That's oh, the theme song just, for this fight. Sorry, I didn't hear that. I was distracted by a DJ rap. Okay. It's a rap. It's a Bulgura rap. Donkey Kong. <laughs> Bulgura. Wait, that's, that's, that's you. They all he have that going... kind of jock bro vibe about them as they charge in. <laughs> uh, they think the Godfather is the best thing to ever happen to mankind. <laughs> That's fair, so it specific, is a really but so correct. <laughs> <laughs> That's it so is specific, good, but holy shit! But I, but I would actually put Lord of the Rings as the as the best movie that ever has been made, just because of the sheer love that was put into the prosthetics and everything, and the fact they hired hired actual artists over. So yeah, yeah, it was a lot more love put That's into fair that enough. than even the Godfather. That's fair enough. But also, yeah, but I'm still gonna. Sing the DK rap in my head for the next three weeks now. Yeah, same. Uh, <laughs> Kieran is going to be very proud as uh, Callie flares and starts to rage. Nice. Or is he not proud because he had conquered his anger and his. No, she can be angry as well. She's a teenage oh, okay. girl. Okay. <laughs> He's like, nah, I'm proud I mean, of her. <laughs> they deserve rage. They deserve it's teenage just, rage. It's just hormones. Uh, teenage rage. It's just hormones. Um. Yeah, she is she is fully flared up. Back. She looks like I hope you're not fully flared up. <laughs> it gets a little warmer around her. Go She's go just... go go see a doctor if you're fully flared up. <laughs> if you fully flare up when you rage, go see your nearest <laughs> Go see your nearest doctor. See your if nearest it lasts for more than four hours. Go visit your OB OBGYN if you flare up when you rage. <laughs> Yikes! Please go check your health. Um, any horse. Then she is going to take. Uh, yeah, we're gonna use the axe and go swing. Go swing, swing. Oh, you're gonna charge in too. Yep. All right. Barbarian, I am raging. Yeah. I am scary. Hear me roar. Mm -hmm. Uh, that is math. It's not the best. I am fire. 16. Hear me, Cinder. I am fire. Hear me, Cinder. I am that is sixteen to fire. hit. I am death. Mark him. Hmm? Sixteen to hit. Sixteen to hit. Let me read that. Should hit. Yep, that hits. Just hits. Great. That is. Are you. 10 points of damage. Nice. I am hitting again. No! Come back! Where did you go? I missed my cup. Come back! It's. There it is. I was about to say, I have so many blue things that got lost in the void. The Ooh. void of blue things. Let it oh do. fuck yeah, twenty one. That hits. All right, so that's what's your rule? Max, uh, max, max damage, damage over twenty. Yep. Fuck yeah. Fourteen points of damage. Nice. Hell yeah. Bonus action time. Ooh, ooh. I'm hitting. Just an arm strike. Now we're holding the axe. Goes into the tail to be held onto. <laughs> <laughs> she unarmed strikes. 
Ooh, ow. Ooh, oh. Oh, daddy. Oh, daddy. That's a nine plus eight. Seventeen. Okay. Seventeen to hit. Seventeen hits. Great. Who's your banana brother? (laughs) Seven points of damage. All right. So how much was the total damage from that turn? I wasn't keeping track. Um, <laughs> don't worry, Naz. Um, my, we're actually, oh, hang on. My first attack. I don't remember what I said. It was so long ago. Oh, it's okay. Oh, I'll, deal with sec- it. I'll, I'll figure it out. I know the second one was 14. I, I already figured out the math, so you're good. Okay. Well, our uh, yeah, that's her turn. Game. All right, yeah, um, she, all right, Abigail, is. you're up. All right, good for her. Ow. Okay, um I can is any is any one of them not um Oh no, this is one person. Okay, we're gonna chromatic orb one of them. Alright, go for it. Roll to hit. Um uh, eighteen. Eighteen very much hits. What kind of damage are you doing? They look like the picture you sent. Yeah. Quite very rudimentary here. Let's do acid. <laughs> oh, you mean acid is a classic. It it's is usually not much as well. I don't know what's resistant to it. Um, I don't know. Well, I know uh, it's resistant. Uh, I mean, I know, but I'll shut up. Yeah, don't you dare metagame. I'm sorry. I will not metagame. <laughs> it's a uh, 23 damage. Yeah. Uh, as far as you are able to tell, it takes full damage from that. Good okay. choice. You have chosen wisely. Uh, All right. Yes. As you guys kind of um, wrap up that, uh, two of the ball girls are going to go real quick. So there's one that attacks the the demon slayer that attacked it, um, which it actually somehow, um, even it reckless attacks, and yet still misses every single attack. I'm impressed. Wow. Um, the other one, reckless attacks against Callie. Um, oh, does wait. Does it come at me, bro? Is, is, Callie, me? is Callie close to Marcus? Would Callie be close to Marcus? No, Callie ran ahead. Uh, does a oh. 17 hit? 17 and 18, do those hit? Yep. Okay. They both do. Ooh, de cockles. Uh, So it misses you with its bite, and then it punches you twice. Um, um, okay. That will be 18 total points of uh, bludgeoning damage, as you just get punched twice in the face, basically. Cool, I'll take uh, nine because I'm raging. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful. All right. Um, and uh, as you guys kind of square off and you guys hear uh, in your heads the ethereal music of oh, the Donkey wait, Kong hold. theme playing. Yeah. Hold. Because I keep forgetting that this is a thing. Okay. Oh. Yeah, we did that. Um, add an additional uh, four points of damage to the one that I was hitting. Okay. That plus two melee damage to strength based weapons. Oh, yeah. yeah you True. Be okay. 
All right. As you guys square off and the Donkey Kong theme music starts to play <laughs> the DK rap, <laughs> um, that's where we'll leave off tonight because we'll be here till 1 a.m. if we try and go into a full combat tonight. Um, oh, yeah, that cannot happen. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we need to get some rest, especially Naz. Um, and um, thank you all for joining us. Hopefully the party will live uh, to... Ugh. Oh my gosh! I didn't know that, Born Stellar. Today is the twentieth anniversary of Return of the King. Mm -hmm. Wow! Well, Wait, it came out in November. I could have sworn it came out in December. Cool. Hmm. Wait, huh. no, we're not in December yet. I'm like, wait a minute. So it's gonna be tomorrow. That's tomorrow, yeah. Well, okay, it depends on where you are. Different countries, it came out at different times. I think Born Stellar is in Canada or something. Um. <laughs> Also, depending on where you are, it is actually December first today for me. That too. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. Was to say, Ian... Ian coming to us from the future. All right. Ian's uh... in the future. <laughs> What's yeah. the future like? Ooh. Just as bad. <laughs> just as bad. Just he she he knows a little ahead. So um, yeah. Thank you all for joining us. Hopefully, the party will survive uh this next session. Uh, being ambushed by a bunch of Balguras. Um, I have a few tricks of my sleeve for this combat, uh, so we'll be entering combat as soon as we start next session. Um, shout out to Return of the King. Apparently, uh, it is its 20th anniversary, so that's awesome. Uh, An honor to be streaming on that. Uh, you guys stay safe, stay healthy, and stay lost, everybody. Now, Selkie says, "Bye, my friends." Music there we go. <laughs>